Lightmap Pack. Lightmaps gets mostly used in games. Lightmaps contains the shadow information for baked heatmap terra, for example. Lightmap Pack maps every face of the mesh individually into the available texture space. It maps each face planner and it distorts the UV patches at the result, then in the case the faces are not rectangular. It is meant for rectangle faces and it produces rectangle UV patches. As told, the root of this tool lies in making light maps for hate maps. And that's usually rectangular quads. Normally you adjust the settings afterwards, but when you click at the light map pack tool, then you will get the settings beforehand. And this tool doesn't have a last operator. Here you need to set up everything before. Selection. You can choose here between three different selection methods. Selected faces, which is the default. All faces of the mesh. Or selected mesh object. Shared text space. This is useful when you map more than one object at once. With this option ticked, the whole geometry gets packed into one UV map. New UV map. This is useful when you map more than one object at once. With this option ticked, every object gets its own UV map. New image. Assigns new images for every mesh, but only if shared text space is enabled. The image size defines the size of the UV map. The pack quality. This option performs a pre-packing before the more complex box packing, so that the result uses as much texture space as possible. Margin defines again the distance between the single UV patches. Now let's do a light map packing and let's have a look at the result. As you can see, these faces here are not really rectangular, but the result here, let's go to blank to see it better, is square or rectangular everywhere, except the trees. But the trees up here are also packed in a rectangular shape. Let's repeat the procedure with a higher quality setting for pack quality. Let's go to 48 for example. And as you can see, the space now gets used much better.